Greetings. I believe you are doing fantastic. This is a video explanation of CV assignment that is submitted by me, Aman. So here we go. There is a note that I want you to read. This is my handles. And here we go. The problem statement. There is a two problem statement over here. Count the number of grains in the image. That was the first pro problem statement. And second problem statement is find the number of broken grains in the image. So let's start with it. Let's start with it. So there was a data detail that I was being provided. Some hint was provided. So what was my approach? These are the steps that I followed to actually solve the problem. First was importing required libraries that is actually uh, like common. Then defining required function that is so function I custom uh, define for like taking the width and height of a image along with uh, uh, yeah that image itself that was there. Image pre-processing was one of the core part that I did, that grayscale conversion, image sense holding, morphological transformation for removing noise that is opening and closing this, that, 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 uh, okay, we will explain more, uh, like we will see more in the upcoming cells. Then fourth was counting rice grain using contour method. It was the last method that I have applied and I have given you the solution on the base of area. This time I solved, I solved that issues of a, uh, uh, miscounting and I tried to apply better counter using watershed algorithm that I applied. So this was just for understanding what are the issues in that using contours and area based. Then I applied watershed algorithm to solve the problem of grain touching problem. Okay. As you might be aware of like watershed is actually for uh, counting the uh, counting or like, uh, or like separating the objects that are touching each other. That is what it is used for. And the sixth step was counting total rice grain and broken rice grain with use of counter area. So if the area of a rice is like uh, great, uh, less than this much, then it falls into broken rice grains and total rice grain is just a count of total uh, uh, grains present in the picture. Explanation. The main motive behind this was converting the image into best possible format so that and I can simply apply my functions on that that can help me to count the rice in a better way. So for cleansing, cleaning was one of the toughest part in this uh, uh, in this uh, particular uh, assignment and I spent a lot of time on tuning the parameters like uh, removing the noise, uh, working on the contrast, working on the thresholding and other things. That was one of the thing, uh, main part. So there was a ma three major challenges, image processing, that was the first. Solving grain touching problem, I learned literally a lot. What if, uh, watershed algorithm was not working in, uh, in earlier, so I again worked on uh, image uh, uh, pre-processing and then again applied the watershed algorithm and then somehow it works. We'll explain that, uh, like I will explain that in upcoming cells also. Then there was a counting broken rice. So I already solved this problem in the last assignment. Last time I submitted this assignment, then I solved using the area. If the area is less than that particular parameter, then I have uh, like uh, taken it into a broken, a broken rice. So then come image processing. Okay, image processing is one of the toughest part. I see to you, I many times I uh, fixed this. Many times I fixed the parameters and uh, and uh, I worked on this and this was one of the toughest parts like using a special type of filters, using special type of tools to fix the issues in the image and get the best contrast, best thresholded and best brightened image out of that particular rice. So that was my whole idea. Then there was a conversion of BGR to image to grayscale that I first did. Then image thresholding I did. I fixed the parameters, then I removed the noise from the thresholded image using morphology ex that is opening like opening is actually okay this is actually a water water problem i i okay that is actually i learned new concepts also while making this particular assignment and it was really fun and loving for me solving brain touching problems that was one of the also toughest part for me because uh, i said uh, i applied water set algorithm by first i started reading but there was not uh, like the rice grain, the images in the rice grains are very, the rice grain in the image are very, very small and applying, uh, like applying like uh, uh, the diluter, I guess that actually 
that dilator i guess that was like it actually corroded if you if you look for erosion if you apply erosion to just remove the parts the side part of a rice then the rice is so small that the whole rice get removed so it was very hard for me to apply anything because it's very tiny object if it's a big ob- object like oranges or like uh, any big things or coins actually coin was one of the uh, thing that i read about so it's very easy to actually apply on that but but when it comes for applying on a images like uh, uh, images containing rice grains that is very critical so i fine tuned i look for the parameters i look for the perfect parameter to apply that and then how i work with this so i said i go for erosion that actually helped me then i applied water cell algorithm in a better way i optimized that i worked with pre processing of the image and then applied it it's like feeling valley problem okay so okay so there comes so that is water cell actually is a algorithm that actually fills that uh, uh, fills that image with a water like a like kind of white water and where it actually holds that is actually a boundary area that is how it works okay so okay then comes counting broken rice that was again one of the problem but i already found uh, already solved in the last section so i simply applied on the contours being detected from that water shell i ca- put it that if the area of a rice is less than this then it falls in a counting in, in broken rice that was it so let's go with the approach import, import required library so cv2 uh, open cv is the numpy is there for arrays numpy arrays matplot for plotting the graphs collab patches uh, for it actually collab patches is a special type of like uh, it uses for uh, printing uh, actually sewing the image in the collab itself in a big big size that is actually for pill i use for using the pill image like uh, working with images that i use and then i use numpy arrays okay numpy arrays i used then uh, i use skypy uh, for uh, for having nd uh, images like for multi dimensional image processing i use for then i use filters features measure and color from sky uh, sky image and what is it algorithm i use for grain separation is a predefined function i takes x and y as coordinate and then i print it up uh, i change the color and then i print it up so let's run this let's start running from here itself okay let's allocate this and run in front of you okay so we are connected now let's run this and run this particular required function uh, then let's start with the image pre processing so this is the image I actually got like this is the test image first from um, image 1 from test images so this is how it looks like okay here is the image so there is lot of noise in the image there is lot of color disturbance in the image so here it comes first uh, go for thresholding first color conversion into gray then thresholding so this is how it looks okay so here is after thresholding and uh, conversion of image into gray scale image there is a lot of disturbance there is a lot of noise so i have to remove the noise so for that i use uh, more for uh, morphology i already uh, given you and i use eight iteration over here i, I go for eight time look for the noise and that was a perfect parameter tuning so that it is all the noise from the image most of the noise of from the image actually all of the noise from the image and here it how clear and crystal clear of uh, image of grains rice grains looks like then there was a uh, there was a, uh, a term for counting labels that labels actually counting like how many counting labels is a part of like going through each pixels and looking through the intensity if the intensity is bright because the the image is actually in either white or either black so if the intensity is 255 that is totally white then that counting that particular pixel from the image that is what i am doing over here then there was a counting rice grain from contour method simply using the contour uh, and counting the length of contours how many contours are there so after applying this i can see that it's actually pretty good it actually pretty good and uh, giving a good output but over here if you look the rice grains which are touching each other it actually counted as a one this whole rice grains are counting as a one same over here these three rice grains are counting as a one these three is are one these three is are one and other also so wherever the uh, grains are count, uh, touching each other they all are counted as a one and that is a huge problem over here so for solving that it's actually 513 that is a count of contours so for that 
I get to know that there's a lot of issues, so I apply watershed algorithm, our savior. So this actually helps me. First, I, I, I go for distance transform that is actually a cal that actually uh, make a so uh, make a uh, area patches of a color patches not color patches area patches on that that is actually a distance and try to find out the 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 separation from that then i find the local peak uh, th then i found that is actually to the part of water side algorithm i would love to explain in person this particular concept and i love that particular concept how it works so this is what it's doing. I put the minimum distance to be 23. That was also one of the parameter tuning and I spent a lot of time on this. Then I applied the water state algorithm and the result was really fascinating. So this was the result. You can see over here, like still it's counting as a three from here, but over here you can look, these all are like very lot of, lot of issues were actually eradicated from this particular image and that was the magic of what is it algorithm and gives more contrast result so you can see the result number of rice over here it's 586 and over there it was 513 and i manually counted each of them i manually counted the total number of broken rice and i manually counted how many rices that are actually touching each other and i get to know that it was pretty nearby it was like 590 I guess and it's 586 that is pretty nearby and that was the best part for, of this particular thing. That is how it works. Then result of what is it? Excuse me. That is the result of what is it algorithm and uh, and that is done actually. So now what I have to do I uh, simply count the total number of price that is first objective and that is totally done. And counting this was the first objective and that is totally done over here. Now here comes counting the broken rice out of the images like out of the rice rice grains in the images so for that i again try to find the parameter tubing and i get to know that if the area is less than 800 800 800 pixel value then that particular rice grain is a broken rice grain and that was a contest result that is 87 and, and exactly i counted that and it was nearby 89 or 91 uh, rice grain a broken rice grain was there in the image so this is how i saw the first objective the second objective and i simply just put into that there was a other method also like split and count so what i thought of split and counting this is an optional approach that comes into my brain split and count was actually splitting a big image into a small frames and on that small frames applying that the particular counter counting it and because counter works on a, a, a small size of image that is actually much clear so on that it works and it found a, and that was pretty uh, pretty good so on like i divided a big image a big image into multiple parts and on that multi pa multiple parts applying that counter so applying the open cv to count the rice grains and then attaching each other and then counting the overall of it but there was a problem in this the problem was there are some rice grain that falls in a two part of a two sub part of our images and that can merge each other and that can create a lot of error out there so that was a not good method that i, I that i haven't applied there's a neural network training also you can like actually thought of like uh training my custom model on yolo v4 model training my custom training on my custom data set, training a yolo v4 model uh using darknet and then i predict that but that was a huge and long uh, lengthy time taking process so I haven't applied that and this is the end note I believe you will read and you will uh, found it really uh, fascinating and one more thing I want to share about this I am really I have spent a lot of time on this I, I invested a lot of time and I learned really good things and I'm pretty much confident about my results that this particular method is really uh, good for this particular problem and yeah I'm looking forward to hear you I, I know that nothing is perfect there's always a chance to grow and I'm hearing I'm looking forward to hear you Thank you so much for uh, giving me this assignment, uh, thank you.